Welcome everybody to another episode of Geek Dad Reports, Comics You Crave. I'm Brian West. And I'm Ryan Thompson. And today we have a Gamer's Delight comic book from Titan Comics. Warhammer 40,000 Death Watch, number uno. Right. Numero one. So for all those, that all of you people that like to play Warhammer 40k, which is a great tabletop game, uh, I have only played once. So um, I don't know too much about all the lore and history. I know it's fucking insane. Basically. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to give a small disclaimer. We are not Warhammer people. And uh, mm. I've, I've never played the game. In fact, I know very little about the uh, the content. We got this comic recommended to us. Ryan said, hey, let's check it out. I'm always down for yeah. new things. And so we are going to be reviewing this solely off of what we read, not on the entire history of Warhammer. Mm-hmm. Because I started looking into it, and there's a lot of it. Yeah. Since I know there's like an emperor that has to like be fed like a thousand souls every day to like yeah. stay alive or something it it's looks crazy. very gamey like there's like 10 foot yeah. tall dudes with giant like shoulder it's, pads and swords and demons from space if, if i had discovered this when i was like 13 i would have dove head first crazy into it yeah but, it looks cool it does look yeah. cool but i just want to give that because if you are a giant warhammer fan and you're watching this review and you're like you idiots that is Azroth, the soul of crusher dreams Try. Uh, Try I'm to sorry. kind of tell us in the comments that we are idiots. As nice as you can. That's true. You could do that. It is America. It is free uh, to call us morons. So anyway, on to the review. The, We're going to review this right now. All right. First up, Ryan, what do you think this comic was about? <laughs> well, this comic is uh, published by Titan Comics. Uh, the writer is Aaron Dembiski bowden and the artist is Tazio Betton. Uh 32 pages, and uh, it's currently on sale for three ninety nine. dollars yeah, so it's uh, available basically, now, right? Basically, they took the best of the best of the most dangerous space marines from every chapter called in the Death Watch. And uh, basically, they are trying to keep those savage orcs and the Xenos from sweeping across the galaxy. And uh, the Death Watch, Death Watch Squad is de- dispatched. Sorry. I'm to stem the flow at whatever the cost. Basically, they're a bunch of badasses, and they are very badassy. Which and if, I like the armor, though. If everything Ryan said like, to you makes no sense, then you are exactly where we were at yeah. the beginning, middle, and end after reading this comic. Um, yeah. Not because of the writing. I feel like the writing's very good. The, uh, the, the artist and the writer do a very good job of illustrating and giving us full-fledged characters that are cool, but there is a huge learning curve here. Whoever yeah. they are, they they believe that the people who are reading this know what Warhammer Forty Thousand is all about, right? And who some of these yeah. people are. I mean, they they spend the first two pages like showing the character, giving you, you know, two space, paragraph bios you, like, on each person. Yeah, like a bio thing. They uh, try and get you involved, but they don't really do a very good job. I was completely <sighs> lost this entire time. Yeah, if if you don't know, like Brian said, if you don't know Warhammer. Um, you're going to be pretty lost. Um, other than I will, the stuff I can comment on, the artwork is yes. well done. It is the amazing. Writing, the story. The, um, the fight I, scenes are epic. Like This seems like yeah. an epic series of comic books. I know there's a whole bunch of them. Um, like Ryan said, the armor looks amazing. Visually speaking, yeah. this seems like a really cool world. Like A very interesting it's world. Super religious, but like yeah. crazy religious. But also really yeah. sci-fi-ish and, and space yeah. and demons and stuff. I don't know. I was kind of digging I mean, it. I, I liked like, it. They got like arm things. They've got like a whole scriptures and stuff on it. Well, and like when they talk, they're like, I shall vanquish the demons back to Hadeo. Yeah. Like it's very crusade but with giant yeah. swords and mech suits, which is really yeah, cool. Very, if like the crusades happened in space. And there's, maybe not a, on something. Yeah, and there's not a lot of story. I got like, there's like an elite team that they think is dead on some planet. <laughs> they kill a bunch of demons and then they're like, they're left for dead and put them in the book that they're gone. And then like, mm. there's a whole bunch of them like, Whoa, my God, what's happening? And it looks like they're about to get in some real shit. But I mean, I liked that there was full page. Like you can see two page like splashes, like these huge mm. scenes 
of epic, you know, proportion. It's a very well illustrated comic book and well written. Yeah. I just unfortunately, you know, it, I don't it, think it was it, for it, us. It backstory. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, mean it's, it, this is something that you're trying to use to jump into the Warhammer universe. It's probably not going to be the best idea for you. I'd like to say that because it's only a four part series. I'd like to say I'd like to read it all, and I might because the characters were really cool. And um, and like I said, it was drawn really, really well. And yeah. they're just kind of badass. It's like a weird crusade predator thing going on here. And I liked it, but I was just so lost by the end. I'm just like, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah, it's 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 a good comic. I don't know if I read more, but if I ever get into the Warhammer universe, I'll definitely try and give it another shot. I would love to hear um, from I, someone who's a fan and tell us like, oh no, this yes. is like really good because it really ties into some stuff because it yeah, feels like, like it should. And it does in on backstory. Cause I'm like, it's like, I have the OCD of, I need to know what leads up to it. Yeah. But it, it definitely feels like there's so much more RPGs. story out there. Yeah. You spend years just trying to get up to the point where you can <laughs> so, read this. I'll say this. I think for what it is on the surface, it's well written. Um, it's beautifully illustrated. The characters seem cool. The universe seems cool. Yeah. Um, it seems it's like if you know this rough. world, this is going to be a cool story. So I think if you're into Warhammer, I would say this is definitely a buy, um, a must buy, yeah. because it's really it's really fun to read. And it's visually, if you're a visual person, it's great. Uh, but if you're like me and Ryan and you have absolutely no entry point into this universe, I'm going to say pass because you're just going to be lost on it. Yes, if you if you have a friend that can explain stuff to you, then it's a good purchase. I would say. All right, but so I think that's our not, first. I think that's our first sorry. recommend, but don't recommend. <laughs> yes, rating recommend if you have a helper. If you have a helper, there you go. Well, there you go, everybody. Uh, Warhammer Forty Thousand Death Watch Number One available right now digitally or at your local comic book store from Titan Comics. Yep. So. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everybody. Stay nerdy, everyone.